Welcome to lesson 14 of the Learn Persian with Chai and Conversation reading and writing program. So today we are learning one brand new letter and this letter will get us very far in learning a lot of new words and that is the letter He. And He is very unique in that it has four different versions depending on where it comes in a, in a word and no other letter has this many versions. We've learned um, a lot of different letters that have a bozorg, big version, and kuchik version, so two different versions based on where they come in the letter. But he takes on a different property depending on if it's the last letter, if it's by itself, if it's in the middle of the word, or if it's in the beginning of the word. So let's go over all of those different versions. So first, if it comes all by itself, so it's not connected to anything else, it has this cute little shape like that, kind of like a raindrop. If it comes at the beginning of the word and is connected to something after it, it looks like that. So uh, it's a way for us to do the same shape, but then go on and bring something after it. If it comes in the middle of a word, so it has something before it and after it, it looks like that, kind of like a heart monitor. Ignore that first uh, uptick. It's just that right there. Let me. There we go. He. And if it comes at the end of a word and there is something connected to it uh, beforehand, it looks like that. And so these are four different versions of this letter He. So again, if it's all by itself, it looks like that. If it's at the beginning of a word, it has that same shape, but it has come, something coming through the middle of it. If it's in the middle, it kind of looks like a little heart monitor shape. And if it comes at the end of a word and has something before it, it looks like that. So now let's uh, combine this with our, um, <clears throat> with our vowels. And we're going to use this shape for it because that, that's the shape that it would have if it had a letter coming after it. So a he with an a afterwards. Ha. A he with a oo after it. Who? He with an e after it. He. A he with an a. Ha. He with an e accent. He. And. He with an O accent becomes ho. So ha, hu, he, ha, he, ho. And now let's learn a few different words using um, <clears throat> our he, our new he letter combined with our old vowels. So a he with the a. Hadi, and that is a name, Hadi. Now let's do a he with an oo. Human, and that is also a name, a, a man, man's name. So Hadi, Human, both men's names. Then let's combine it with our e sound. Ma he, and that means a fish. And you can see that we've used the same version in all three of the words because the letter has come with nothing before it, but a letter after it. So it takes on this, this version. A he with an a. Oops. 
So this is an exciting one because we have two different versions of the he. He with an a accent is ha, haste, and that means a seed. So this he looks like this because it's at the very end of the word. This he is at the very beginning of the word. So they take on these two different versions, haste, and the he with a e accent. Hedayat, and this has our ye sound from last week too. Hedayat, and that means guidance. And finally, a he with an o accent. Homa, and that is a woman's name, Homa. So let's go over all of our words again. So again, this is the letter he. And it doesn't have a Bozorg and Kujik version, it just has four different versions. So, he, 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 he. And a he with an aw sound afterwards is ha. A he with an oo sound, hu. He with an e sound, he. A he with an a accent, ha. He with an e accent, he. And a he with an o accent, ho. So following along, he with an a, ha di. That is a man's name, ha di. A he with an u after it, hu man. And that's a guy's name too, hu man. Ma he. So here you can see, even though the he comes in the middle of the word, it doesn't join up with the a. Ah. So that's why it looks like that. It's still at the beginning of this grouping of words. Ma he. This one, a he with an accent is has de. Has de. And that is seed. He with an e accent. He do yet. Guidance. He do yet. And a he with an o accent. Homa. And that is a woman's name, Homa. So now let's go over uh, some different words with the he sound and let's sneak in a few different versions of the he so we can practice looking for it in different words. And I'm going, going to go ahead and stick with uh, drawing the hit in a bl with blue so that you can pick it out easily. So here was the first version that we learned, and that is when it comes all by itself. So what are some words that are like that? So one is par de, oop. Said I was gonna do this. So par de, and that means a uh, a blind, a um, curtain. Par de. So as you can see here, the de is by itself. It doesn't connect to anything before it, or to, to anything after it. And so we had to do the he all by itself. Par de. This one is kare, and again, the re does not connect to anything else, and so uh, afterwards you have this lonely he sound, kare, and that is butter. And then, this is pare, torn, pare. And that again, the re does not connect to anything afterwards, so you have a lonely he, pare. Okay, so what if you have a he at the end of a word, but uh, something does come before it? Let's look at those. Looks like that. Oop, 
and did it again. This is name, and that is a letter. So again, you have a word, and me does connect to something after it, but it's the last letter of the word. So it looks like that, name. So this is tarane, a song, tarane. And again, we have that he at the end, connects to something before, but it is the last letter, tarane, looks like that. And ah, let's remember our accents. We're still learning. Shabane, shabane, and that is nightly, shabane. So we've seen a lot of examples of this one before, but uh, let's let's look at it again here. So this is he when it comes at the very beginning of the word and it's connected to something afterwards. And just to keep it consistent, I guess I'll <laughs> start off with it black. And this is hezar, and that is a thousand, hezar. And then ha, hava, and that is air. So it's a he with an a accent. This was he with an a accent. And when it comes at the beginning of the word, it looks like that, hava. So you can learn to identify this changing, the many faces of the letter he. He with an a accent, hashed. Hashed means eight. And finally, when it comes in the middle of a word, it looks like that. And we use it to write here it is. Tehran. And that is the capital of Iran. Teh. Run. So that's what it looks like when it comes squished between two different letters where it does connect. It just is this little lower tick. So this is a popular boy's name. And it is Bah Ram. Bah Ram popular boy's name. And finally, another word with the he in the middle. So again, it comes like that is bahar or spring, bahar. So there we go. These are all examples of the many changing faces of he, same letter, different look, depending on where it comes. So this is parde. And uh, this is just the way that we um, spell it phonetically. A lot of times when you see it written phonetically, these type of words, they look like this. Pade. But it's the same thing. So, so that's the he sound that's coming through. Um, this is just how we've done it um, with trying conversation. We have this e with an accent over it. Same thing. Pade. And then this is kare. This is butter. Pare. And that is torn. This word, when it comes at the end and it's connected, looks like that. Name. Letter. Tarane is a song. Tarane. And shabone. Nightly. And now let's look at it in the beginning of a word. Hezar means thousand. Hava, air. Hashed means eight. Tehran is the capital of Iran. Tehran. Bahram is the name, is a man's name. 
and bahar is spring. So this is the letter he which we covered today. A new letter to add to your tool chest um, as we have only one lesson left in unit three of the reading and writing program. We're going to be back next week with some uh, new material, new things for you to practice. Please go over your exercise packet, keep going over it, keep practicing, practice on your own. Um, look for different words and different resources that you have. Try to find these letters out in the wild. And we'll see you next week on the reading and writing program. Thank you so much for watching the Learn Persian with Chai and Conversation reading and writing program. As I mentioned in the video, this video is just one part of the complete reading and writing system that we've created. And you can find all of our bonus materials, which include reading practices and writing practices on our website. The link is below, chaiandconversation.com. In addition to our reading and writing program, we have a comprehensive uh, conversational Persian course where we teach you how to speak conversational Persian the way actual Iranians do, not informal Persian that you read. And so uh, that's available on the website as well as our reading and writing program. So if you just go on there, you can see all the materials that we've created over the last 10 years and hopefully we'll see you there.